So I wanted to highlight the three ways that, that I've realized that we do this. Now, I've just highlighted to you the way that, that I've been doing it through, through feeling the rejection, then pushing, pushing on that feeling of, I'm going to move away before you reject me, which isn't, as you say, as I say, it's not conducive to me aligning to where I want to be. So now, as I say, I'm working on that. But if you do this in your life and it's not aligning you to where you want to be, be aware of it. Have the conversations with your own brain, you know, get very clear so then you can work on that side of it. The other side is that we see the green eyed monster. Now, I've got to admit to you, this isn't something that is present within me. But back, you know, back at certain points in my life when I was a different person going through different things and different experiences, different, you know, um, different circumstances that we'll just leave it there but i would have been more maybe like this with with um, resistance and looking at a woman and thinking like you know when i was going through anxiety and depression for example i remember feeling um not not je jealous but sort of envious of women who uh, i perceived uh, ha had it easy emotionally you know they seem to flow as a beautiful female can do when they're in tune with their body and with their brain it's it's very flowy the energy and and i was jealous i would have been jealous of that um because that's what i wanted when technology goes wrong damn you technology you are my best friend i'm a little bit pushed for time because this video decided to erase itself or part of it so now I have to redo. I hope you're having a better day with technology than me, but I'm not bitter. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just gonna tell you about my services quickly. So I'm Jenny from Nutritious Lives. I'm a life coach, a manifestation coach. I'm a nutritionist and supplementation advisor. I'm an EFT practitioner and I'm on hand for all your coaching solutions. So please reach out to me on most social networking platforms. And my email is nutritiouslives at gmail.com. So have a nice day on this lovely Friday and I will see you in the next one. So I want you to understand that when we get these feelings, because every feeling is only there to highlight to you your resistance. Now, I want you to really understand this, that every single feeling is there to highlight to you what you, what you need to deal with and take away and disperse from your body. So then that's gone and you can align with your desires. So if you're, if you're a female and you're watching this and you realize that when I look at another female and I, um, uh, poo poo her, I, I speak ill of her and it's and it comes from a place of jealousy from you want that because if you ask yourself the question why am I jealous of this woman it's because she's got something that I want so today I want you to frame it differently that female is highlighting to you where you want to be and you can be you can be do and have whatever you want and i want you to understand this is what the work is this is what the journey is it's a journey of discovery to know that that feeling that you're feeling it's because it's highlighting it's a desire of yours so go into that move into that space right so move away from that oh it, it, it makes me feel bad and so I want to speak ill of that person moving to a space of acceptance of that woman's highlighting to me what I actually want in my life and then the other side the other um, part of it is uh, and, and uh, we can do this with our fellow females is and I've been guilty of this as well um, and you know, it's all been, it's all highlighted to me, um, in a really profound, lovely way. It's amazing. But so where I'm at now and, and where I used to be as a person. So 
growing up, I was very abrasive. I was, I was sort of, you know, it was a defense mechanism, but I would just say it and, and, and to, to sort of maybe push people away to say, don't come close to me because I'm, I'm, I'm a little dog that's ready to attack type thing. And, and, I, and now, because I've, I'm not that person at all, I still have loads of love for that imperfect girl, lady, and I still am imperfect, but I'm not her anymore. I'm not that version of me anymore. It's almost like someone's telling me a story of the way that she would be. But her response, and sorry, my response now to seeing another female acting like I used to act, it brings up your shadow side. It's a, almost like a repulsive feeling because it highlights to you what you, what the way you used to be and, and how you really, that, that's like, you know, the furthest thing that you want to be now. So rather than come from a compassionate uh, way of looking at that person, because now when I see vulgarity or someone being the, the, the per not that I was vulgar, but I had vulgar tendencies. And when I see someone being, you know, over um, angry and, and, and sort of bushy and manly, you know, as the way that I was growing up, it repulses me, it, it, you know, it, that's the feeling that I've had. It's, re, it's been a repulsion because that was me. And so now I understand that when I see that, that this female that's been a version of her that she probably doesn't want to be because it's out of fear and anger, right, with the, with the way that the world's done her and how she feels, that now I'm moving to a space of empathy and sympathy and wanting to... Um, if I can, uh, you know, help help that person to heal from from that um, that need to respond in that way. So yeah, I'm 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 going to leave it there. Um, I want to really just make it clear to you that I'm releasing as much of this negativity as I can, and I urge you to do the same. We, uh, we need to come back to our set point. This is what I'm realising about the whole thing. You know, on a serious note, we, we need to come back to our set point before the, the, um, the world's energies, the negative uh, part of, of our world, made a difference to us, changed us, moulded us into something we don't want to be. And that power to assess and, and change the story of you. It's within you and it always was within you. So I'm in line now, guys. I'm in line with my females. I know what I've got to do and it's so empowering and I want you to be empowered too. So as I say, from this point on, it's going to be no longer directed um, at um, God's. It's going to be all goddesses from this point and i wish you all the best i hope you have a blessed day from a very unconditional loving place and i will see you in the next one